you got me in the camera. Hi everybody, I'm Susan Finch. Today I'm wearing my Binky Patrol hat and we are at our day of service for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And we are here in Portland, Oregon, Beaverton. Yay! And we have a great team. We are over 100 strong today and we are making blankets for kids that are in shelters and hospitals and those that are in transitional housing. The kids that need to be reminded that somebody's thinking of them and they're not forgotten. And so everybody here wants to make a difference for these kids by making blankets. We are pinning, we are sewing, we are cutting, labeling. Everybody's doing something. And I have with me is my first guest, <laughs> Malia. You are with Hands on Portland. And Malia, how long have we been doing this together? Gosh, we've been doing this like six years, I think. Yeah. Twice a year. That's, twice that's a year. like 12 bankathons. And if you think of 200 blankets per bankathon, that's like that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids getting getting blankets and getting warmth and getting comfort. So who do we have to thank for helping helping us pull all this together today? Well, this is part of the United Way MLK Weekend of Service. It's sponsored by the Boeing Company, and we're really excited to to kind of have that backing of support and have everybody come out here. We have a lot of corporate groups. We got Starbucks. Starbucks! Yeah! We've got a whole bunch of other groups coming um, as part of, you know, corporate teams who are able to take the day to come and give back to the community. And community service. Yeah. Schools, heads up. This is an easy event to put on. We can teach you how. If you want to know how, visit our website, binkypatrol.org, and we can teach you this. And let's see, I want to also thank our sponsors for some of our materials today, Hoffman California Fabrics of Mission Viejo, California, for the greatest fabric. Hotel Deluxe, one of the most beautiful hotels in downtown Portland, for our backing. And for the batting, I want to thank Women with Moxie and the Sales Lead Management Association. Thank you so much for helping us get our materials. But let's get some more people here to talk to them. Savannah, let's talk to a kid. <laughs> Stay right here. Tell them who you are. Your daughter. Okay. And how long have you been doing Binkathons? Since I was pregnant. Since I was pregnant with her. Okay. So what's your favorite part about a Binkathon? Uh, um, probably sewing every, all the strips together. You like doing that? Cool. And you learn to sew because of Binky Patrol. Isn't that cool? Anybody can learn to sew. Girls, come on. You want to come talk? Come on, it's okay. Kyra, is that your name? Kyra. Kyra. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 11. You're 11? And how long, is this your first Binkathon? And what have you been doing today? Um, well, sewing and pinning. Cause, um, sewing and pinning because my family is all here, and my mom and my sister are pinning. My dad and I are usually sewing. Cool. All right. You want to be in too? Come on. So we have Chloe, and is it Leah or Leah? Leah. Leah. All right. And what school do you all go to? I go to Academy. All right. ISB. ISB. Where do you go? All right. And what's your favorite part about the Binkathon? Thinking of all the Cool. And what have you been doing today? Sewing. Sewing. All right. That's great. Where's Tim? Tim. Come on over here. Okay, thanks, guys. Woo! Tim Finn. Tim Finn from Starbucks. He has become a regular fixture, and we expect him here at every one of these events now. Last three years. Yep. And what is your favorite part about doing this? I like not pricking my fingers, so <laughs> I like putting together the blankets. I don't like putting the labels on. Got it. No, I, I brought band-aids this time because of people like Tim, we well, do get injured. Indeed. Indeed. It is a safety hazard, but it's worth it. So tell me about your team. So it's the entire Hillsboro Starbucks area. We've got about 20 people here. We've been here for, I think, four years coming it's back. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Last year I came on the day after my wedding, so we're committed. Oh, to awesome. And how did your wife feel about that? She was here. She was helping out. So <laughs> we're committed to service. So, Thank you. Yeah. That says a lot. Anybody, guys, can make a difference. It doesn't have to be hard. Look at Tim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Anybody else? Did you want to come? Come on. Hi there. Hi. You're with the Wells Fargo team? I am. All right. Here's another. Hi. What's your name? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. So is this your first event with us? It is. Cool. How'd you find out about this? Um, actually, through Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. our community website has us posted as a volunteer opportunity. We have the bank is closed today. And um, so I signed up. And I love it. It has been so much fun. I did some cutting today, and now I'm sewing some blankets. This is one of the blankets I just cut. Oh, let's show. 
See, they're very simple. They don't have to. They're not high skill things. These blankets are soft though, and they have all the pins taken out of them, and are perfect for these children that need that reminder. Again, these are going to kids that not everybody notices. They're the ones that are invisible, that are in transitional housing, that might come to school some days, not other days, or maybe not at all. They're the kids that need the biggest reminder that somebody is thinking about them, that they aren't forgotten, and that they are important. So that's what these are for. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Anybody else want to come on up? Sven, do you want to come back? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what, what's your message for kids your age? Hey, what school do you go to? Raleigh Hills. Is that the greatest school? Yes. <laughs> All right, where's Raleigh Hills? Um, it's on Shows Ferry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what would you say to kids that are just sitting around on these kind of days? What could they be doing instead? They could be helping kids just like them that are quite as privileged. They could be making a difference instead of killing people on video games. That's a great thing. And what about birthday parties? What if, what if everybody's tired of going to, no offense, Sky High and some of the other places, but what if you've all done that? What about something different? What could you do for a birthday instead? Well, you could be making a difference on your birthday and celebrating your life by helping someone else. And do, have you done that before for your birthday? Yes. What did we do? We had a bunch of my friends over and we made a ton of blankets and cake cake. Well, see, cake can be at any binky event. So can pizza and ladies, so can wine. So it is a wonderful event. Anybody can do this. It can be small. It can be large. One binky is better than no binkies. This is really easy to do. We're going to see if anybody else wants to come over and tell us how, how has your day been today? Oh, it's been wonderful. And what, what's your name? My name is Christina. I'm with uh, CUI Corporation. Okay, what does CUI do? Uh, we sell semiconductor components. All right, so did your corporation encourage you guys to do a day of service today or no? Oh, yeah, no, they shut down the entire company and we went out to, I think, like 10 different locations. Okay. And this is one of the locations. Well, cool. How many are here from your team? I think 10 of us. Fantastic. Where are the rest of them? Oh, they're all over the table over there. Hey, CUI, get over here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, and this is my daughter. I have her coming. All right, what's your name? Mary. Mary, so tell me about your experience today. Well, I really love volunteering, so it's been really nice knowing that we're making all this stuff for people who don't have it. It's just a great feeling when you're volunteering. And do you volunteer throughout the year? Yeah, we've been volunteers. What are your favorite things to do? Um, we, I like to work with people a lot. Like, we've done a lot of like races in downtown Portland, like mm -hmm. bikes and runners, and we like tell them where to go. What they need to do. All right. And here's the rest of your team. You want to make any introductions for us? No, sure. Uh, this is Cindy and uh, Diana and Seth and Danny and Mary. And we work in several different departments inside. Yeah. And how many of you, is this your first event with us? Yeah. No, you guys are. Some of you have been here before. Okay, so how many of you right there? Two, three, four. How many times have you been here? It's your second one. Second one here? Okay. First time here. And what have you been doing today? Give me a lot. Have you been injured? <laughs> People get injured, so we're just checking. I have band-aids if you need them. <laughs> and how about you two? What have you been doing today? I have to say, this bunch and everybody here has been so flexible. No matter what job we toss at them, it's like, okay, um, I came here to do this, but okay. And I think that's one of the keys of volunteering, because otherwise, that's not the true spirit of it. It's where are you needed, what do you need to do, you know, to fit into that moment. So I appreciate how flexible you guys are, and that you're all here as a team. Please thank your company for suggesting this. This is great. I'm glad you could come, too. Yeah. This is wonderful. Now, what school do you go to? Um, well, now I'm going to college, so yeah, yeah. it's a great school, a beauty school. All right. All right. Yeah. So, see, your students, your fellow students can be doing the same thing, too. Yeah. Classmates, yeah. <laughs> oh! It's beauty school stuff. Well, thank you guys so much. Let's see if there's anybody else up here. Does anybody else want to do an interview? Tom? So again, we are here with the group for Binky Patrol for the Day of Service for Martin Luther King Jr. Day here in Beaverton, Oregon at the Village Baptist Church, and we are so excited they've had us here for four times now. And it is a beautiful venue, it's huge. We need this space because we're unrolling fabric, we're unrolling batting. 
We are using sheets from the Hotel Deluxe. We're using Hoffman California fabric. Batting donated by Women with Moxie and the Sales League Management Association. And we are here with our partners, the United Way and Hands On Portland, and some great teams from all these different local corporations. So we are so glad to have you here. Tom, why don't you come and tell how easy it is to do anything, to iron, to help. So how many bank accounts? This is my husband, Tom. How many bank accounts have I dragged you into? It seems like quite a few. I don't know quite how many. You stopped counting? I did. <laughs> he especially likes it when they're all at the house. But they're easy. Are they easy? They're what easy. makes it easy? They're easy because there's something most anybody can do. So what what did you get to do today? I iron. Uh huh. I pin. Yeah. I cut fabric. And I didn't do any sewing. Okay. Well, my machine got broken today, but we'll get that fixed. <laughs> so I couldn't do it. My family is so great. They're, the night before, we're always loading up cars. My children helped us take a bus, and you want to join us? Um, helped us load up the cars, bring it here, because we had so many bags of sheets and so much fabric from Hotel Deluxe that we needed to make room. Otherwise, the children wouldn't have fit, or they would have been sitting on the roof. So, yeah. So I said, stand back a little bit so we can see you too. So tell me about Binky Patrol for you. What do you like about it? Thank you, Austin. How old are you, Austin? Almost nine. That matters because it's coming up really soon. So any age, again, we welcome any age. They can make a difference. You can make blankets. You can cut fabric. You can tie blankets. And it takes just one blanket to make the difference in the life of a child. So as much as I want to keep this going for another 20 minutes, I oh, social media, I'm sorry. Savannah, tell us about where they can find us in social media. Well, recently, we, Pinky Patrol has accumulated an Instagram account. As simple as that. <laughs> and we'll always be posting details about the next thing that's gone and our final blanket count at the end of each one. So follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. You can find us on our website at BinkyPatrol.org. There's a group on Facebook for us, Binky Patrol Comforting Covers. That is the group. You can join that. There are so many ways to stay in touch with us, and we want to know what you're doing. It might not be making blankets. But how are you making a difference? Tell us about it. Take a picture of it. Post it. Tag us on Instagram. Go ahead and put it in there so we know what's going on. Is that pretty good? Sounds pretty good. All right. Thanks, Savannah. And she set that up today because when you need social media done, ask the 12-year-old. So I can say that because that's also what I do for a living. But um, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate the time that you took out of your holiday or away from other hangouts on air to be able to see us for this YouTube live event. We will be doing more. Thank you again. And our goal is 200 blankets today. We will let you know how it goes. Thank you.